This video will guide you through installing FSL on your machine. I'm assuming you're using a Mac and that for your operating system you have Snow Leopard or Later. Go ahead and search for FSL install and click on the first hit that comes up. FSL uses an installation script to set up the program, which you can find by clicking here. Read the license and agree to it, and then fill out the information form about yourself. Then click on register. This brings up a screen to download the installation script and instructions for how to use it with your operating system. Click on download FSL and then click on instructions. We will briefly walk through the rest of the steps, which you can read at your own convenience. Click on this link to install XQuartz, which will download a disk image installer. I already have XQuartz installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it, but the steps for installing it should be the same as with any other package. Once that's done, go back to the installation page. It will tell you to open up a terminal window and then to navigate to the downloads directory. If you haven't used a terminal before, click on the link in the more info box below to see an introductory tutorial to Unix. Next, type python fslinstaller.py and then press enter. This will start the FSL download and installation. There are a couple of steps that will require you to enter your password to proceed, so you will need to stick around for the entire installation. The defaults are fine as is. Unless you are an advanced user, there's no need to change them. The installation will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the installation is done, open up a new terminal and exit out of the old terminal by typing exit. Test your installation by typing echo dollar sign FSL DIR to see that the path is set correctly. If you selected the defaults, it should point to user local FSL. Next, type flirt dash version to make sure that the commands are working. It should return version 6.0. Type FSL from the command line to make sure the FSL windows open correctly. Lastly, type FSLize from the command line to open up Fossilize, the FSL image viewer. If all of these run without any errors, you've successfully installed FSL and are now ready to use it. If you need to install patches or updates, or if you run into any errors in the installation, check the installation page. Or if you're having trouble with Fossilize, look at this page by searching for fossilize troubleshooting. Good luck, and I'll see you all in a couple of weeks.